thank you for coming to this special uh, meeting of the City Council. Our first item of business is going to be that we're going to stand, we're going to do the pledge. We're going to have uh, Reverend Eric uh, give our pledge. Here comes another City Council person. We'll give her time to get up here. <laughs> thank you for coming, Connie. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Yeah, you can stand. That's all. Stand. Connie, <laughs> <laughs> well, since you just came, you can lead us. <laughs> okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Eric, this is a special meeting tonight because we're going to try to designate the big six-story building as a. Um, historic place. Good. So pray for our community and for our endeavors. Well, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come again to ask your indulgence upon this special meeting. We thank you, Lord, that you know what is needed before we would even ask or think about it. But Lord, we come to you. And we ask that wisdom that you'll work together with us through our spirits, bring us into unity, that it will be for our good and yet for your glory. We give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Good. See ya. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. First item of all the meeting to order. First item of business be roll call. Councilwoman Rish? Present. Councilman Weber? Present. Councilman Schulman? Present. Councilman Nobby? Here. Councilwoman Montgomery? Present. Councilman Creech? Present. Councilwoman Stevens? Let the record show that mm -hmm. six out of the seven council people are present. We have a quorum and we can do business. We have a couple items of uh, business tonight. Uh, our main item is pending ordinance number 3160. Uh, this is an ordinance that will designate the uh, six story pattern mill building old furniture company building as a historic uh, site established by the city of Connorsville. You've had this, or have you had a chance to read the ordinance? It's not real complicated. Would you like it read out loud? Okay. I'll give you a chance to uh, digest that a little bit. Uh, Steve, if you come up, do you have sure. any questions? Why? Mr. Alexander, be glad to answer the questions. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, City Council, especially for coming out on short notice. We really appreciate this. Um, we found out last week, about the middle of the week, that our application to DNR for federal historic register status that had been in for a little over 60 days is now going to take about 12 months to get approved. The, because DNR is so short-handed, all of their historic stuff is getting way behind so uh, IHCDA allows that the local um, municipal body can m make a historic designation for the purposes of the point scoring on the application for tax credits so um, we ask this uh, special meeting and I really appreciate you all taking away from your time to come and do this but um, our application is due um, by noon on Monday and so that's why we're on short notice and we've got just about everything done uh, we just got the appraisal on the building yesterday and so virtually all the paperwork is done we just need this historic designation for really our last our last piece so if there are any questions I can answer um, we, we still intend to fully pursue the uh, Federal Historic Register status um, to make it a National Historic Landmark. Um, it's just going to take much longer than what we had hoped to get it done. So. <clears throat> yeah. Mr. Baker? No. I have a question. First of all, I don't have a problem with this none whatsoever. Uh, but my question is, um, what happens if, the, if we do determine this is a uh, historic landmark and for whatever reason it doesn't follow through with the uh, apartment uh, in the event 
someone doesn't want it can still be tore down? Right. Yeah, this doesn't restrain or restrict okay. what can be done to the building. So my question. Fashion, as far as I know, what do you think? Mm -hmm. It's actually the federal designation is the one that would create the problem. If the city at some point intended to use federal money to tear it down, it would be more complicated. Um, certainly not impossible. We just uh, actually, uh, we did one in... Um, little town in Tipton, Kurtz, I believe his name of the, they tore down a historic hotel <coughs> using um, okra money, which is federal CDBG funds. And we thought it was going to be impossible to use federal funds to tear down a historic building, but apparently it's not. Well, I would just give them a worst case scenario yeah. on the event. Mm -hmm. You folks happen to change your mind. <coughs> the local... You know, Local historic designation doesn't have that kind of limitation on the federal historic uh, designation. You answered my question. Not a problem. Any other questions? Mr. Mayor, I move to approve pending orders 3160. Second. We have a motion to approve pending orders 3160 to designate that uh, furniture company building as a historic landmark by the city. Um, any further discussion? This will be on first reading. Are you ready for the question? Yep. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Would you like to suspend the rules and consider it on third and final reading? So moved. Second. I have a motion to consider pending ordinance 3160 on third and final reading. On suspension of rules only, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That means we can move forward on third reading. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second that we consider pending ordinance 3160, making a historic landmark status out of the Pattern Mill building, known as the Connorsville Furniture Company building. Any discussion? Any discussion at all? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. The ordinance passes. It becomes ordinance number 6220. And uh, we will sign that here while you wait. Uh, who has the good copy? Do. You do. You don't have to be quiet while she's signing. She, she signs under. So this will not shorten the 12 month period in any way. This no, has nothing to do with that. Um, actually, we've completed um, two technical correction requests from DNR that where they ask us to change the wording on something or add supplemental information. President Council. So we're still mm -hmm. in that process. It's just fine. they're <coughs> so far behind. I see. Um, I no, it's it's going to take probably four I'm months to get to the local hearing. Then it's got to go to the Department of Interiors in Washington, D.C. and get on their docket for approval. And so, um, once we get through probably three or four months there, it'll be close to fall of 15. I'd like to present this clean copy. Thank you, sir. The ordinance passed. Thank you, Council. You're welcome. Yeah, thank appreciate you. it. And, Good luck. Uh, tomorrow morning, you should get that from EDG. Perfect. Okay. All right. I will acknowledge the Economic here. Development Group you met earlier tonight and endorsed this project. They're going to put a letter in his packet. Does that get you some extra points? Um, not points, um, just icing on the cake. You know, when they see there's more broad community support for a project, they, they bump it up. Okay. We thank okay. you. Okay, sounds great. The other item of business, uh, as you all know, thank Council you. Lady Nancy um, Stevens has resigned as of today. So. As of tomorrow. As of tomorrow, excuse me. This will advise you that I will be resigning my city council effective 31st, 2014 of October. 
due to back problems I have. If you have any questions, you can contact me at 825-5861. Signs Nancy Stevens, and she sent it to me and to Julie Grayson. Um, we would uh, be okay tonight to accept that in advance of the 31st, which is tomorrow, and then the new city council person can take her seat on uh, Monday at our regular meeting. Yep. Fran, did you get a letter as uh, council president? No, sir. You did not? No, I asked for that letter, and I now have it. It's actually addressed to Fran. It's, it's, to a, you it's a, a, an address to Fran. Oh, okay. Copy to, uh, That's who it's supposed to go to. I move we accept the letter of resignation from Councilwoman Nancy Stevens, effective Second. October 31st. Second. Got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried and we'll accept that. And the new council person has already been sworn in by the auditor and county clerk. County clerk, excuse me. And uh, she will take all, take office then on the first and she'll be at our meeting on Monday. Okay. Any other business that you, did you have anything, Julie? Okay, uh, Gabe asked how we were doing with the union negotiations with the police. John and I spent a couple hours with him yesterday. We went through, we were able to take out the staffing. Uh, none of this is official, this is just in the talking stage, so you can't put it in the paper. Uh, we asked them to take out the Talk staffing, <laughs> uh, which would be a big help to us so we can staff it she whatever way we have to. TV. <laughs> Gabe asked me tonight to go for a, explain it Gabe, what you want done. Just for reduction in vacation time for no, no current uh, hirees, but future hirees for the police department. Reduction of the maximum of um, either five weeks, probably around five weeks as a maximum and then we can work the other ones back. And this would affect no one that's currently <coughs> hired, only new hirees. Oh, see, anybody else got any suggestions they'd like while well, John and I are trying to negotiate that? What's the current? So it goes up to seven, seven weeks. weeks. Mm -hmm. How long does it take him to get there, to get to that? I don't have it. John, do you remember? It would be way up in the seniority. I don't recall exactly. To, to acquire, it's 15. 15, 15, years. 15 yeah. years, John. Yep. We also started on Western Avenue yesterday, and uh, they assure me that we can get this done. And when we're going into the driveways, they're going to make them flat. And I, I think it, we did the right thing. We're, we're working on it. It was a lot worse down under the bridge. It took up 44 foot of pavement down there, about a foot deep. It was it was uh, separating between the two layers of pavement or three layers, mm -hmm. and every time you fixed it, it just kept separating. Now we're down to the base, and they put a brand new base. They put 12 inches of base in there yesterday, hot base. So we shouldn't have any trouble under that bridge anymore. But uh, that should move quickly now over the next two weeks. Anything else that uh, council would like to know or? None appearing. I'd be glad to take a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Got a motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All in favor say aye. Anybody opposed? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, no. I'm tired. <laughs>